Oh yeah, welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at Undercover Cops Collector's Edition. This is a brand new Super Nintendo game. Brand new English translation for this release. Never released in North America type of thing. So this was a limited time pre-order that Retrobit put out there through numerous different retailers. And there's two versions. The standard one, which was like 55 bucks, and then this Collector's Edition one. That's very shiny and reflective right now. We'll get that off in a moment. That comes with a bunch of extra stuff, and I believe this was $69.99. They sent this out to me for purpose of uh, review, I guess, take a look at it type of thing, as I did cover it in the past when they put the pre-order out there. And if you missed out on it and you like what you see, hope is not all lost, as a lot of times these do make their way, like additional stock of it, make their way to your local retailers, places that sell retro games, and even places online like Castlemania Games may wind up in the end having a few extras that they put up to order for people who missed out. So let's take a look at what's uh, included here. I see there's that chicken sticker on there. Um, fortunately, that chicken sticker's got to go. I don't know if I want to cut it or if I could peel it without messing up. You know, some people are really crazy about the uh, packaging on these things. They don't like damaging seals, but you know what? Sometimes... What can you do? Like, see, I mean, the seal just ripped. It would have been better if I just cut it, or I guess you can use other means to try to keep it restored, but it's just a sticker and I don't care. So we're opening it up. I do like to keep everything on the inside, you know, nice, but the outside packaging, I gotta break the seals, man. Like, I don't want this to just sit on a shelf. I wanna play it, but here we go. So this is one of them. It got, I think it got delayed a little bit because of all that port congestion nonsense. A lot of companies are legitimately suffering from that. I mean, I, I always say like, ugh, a lot of times there's excuses out there for delays with certain things, but that port congestion stuff is, <laughs> is no freaking joke, man. Um, it's, it's a legitimate excuse and it sucks because a lot of things are just becoming hard to get because of it or things are delayed or trickling out type of thing. But here we go. The back of the uh, this thing, the outer sleeve, it shows you all the contents and whatnot. One player, Super Nintendo North American and European um, consoles. And I think, yeah, it said North American up there because there's, we're not focusing, because there is like a European version with a different shell type of thing, but this is the North American one. So let's go ahead. We're gonna pop it in, test it out real quick in a moment as well. Is this sealed too? Or does it have a sticker, I mean? Yeah, there's a sticker on top. Mm, Got to be careful with that. I was kind of not paying attention. I was pulling it up, but I'm going to go ahead and cut it. There we go. Kind of don't want to damage the box, but I was already like peeling this part up. So if you open this, be careful. Maybe try to peel that sticker off from this way, not this way, because it looks like I peeled up a little bit right there. Not, not a huge deal. I'm, I'm, I'll slap myself later, but there you go. Nice little box, got that like embossed textured stuff right there. The little steel girder type of thing. Boom, undercover cops. Let's take a look. So at least this video is kind of like, hey, you know, if you're somebody who bought this, like pay attention how you open it. Don't make the same mistakes as me type of thing, right? We get the uh, Rosa Felmond uh, figure. This was something I was really curious to see the quality because I remember talking to Retrobit a long while ago and they were like, this was one of the things they wanted to make sure was like just straight because with it having like, kind of like with it having such a big ass head, like you want to make sure it's stable and all that kind of stuff. Um, some people will just leave something like this in the box and I understand that. Uh, I kind of want to see what it looks like standing up if it is like too top heavy to to fall over But I remember they did say something to me about like yeah Like the, the figure and working on that, you know, that was like extreme importance to make sure everything was Was good with the quality behind it and you know, you don't want it to tip over and then the head breaks off type of thing So let's let's take a look at that. That's kind of got a little a little heft to it for sure kind of looks like Sonic the Hedgehog Side profile, put that up, let me see. Oh my God, I can't get it, I can't get it in view, dude. There you go. She's she's well balanced, like she doesn't seem like she's gonna tip over. I mean, this kind of like, 
you know, wobbly, but that's because it's on a box. But yeah, I mean, when I put it on my table, there we go. She's, she's looking good. There we go. Focus on her big ass head. Little collectible figure thing. Pretty cool. I think this one is one I will leave in the box though. Nice, nice packaging. Designed by Eric Scarecrow. There's his uh, socials if you want to check out his work. But yeah, partnered with him to get this going. Nice little figure if you're into these kind of things. What else is in here? We got the, uh, oh, was that the chicken keychain? There you go. Like acrylic. I think it's an acrylic keychain. Pretty cool. A little classified uh, thing. <laughs> a lot of their releases come with stuff like this, which some people really like. Having a certificate of authenticity is cool. I got, what, 1569 limited production out of 3,000 of them. Undercover cop stickers. Cool. And then the uh, little profile cards for the uh, three playable characters. Matt Gables, Rosa Felmond, and Zan Takahara. There you go. Looking all straight out of the, the, the 80s or 90s. Ready to be some undercover cops. Has like an imprint. That is freaking funny, dude. So on this side, the, the attention to detail and the quality on these little collectible items. Like me personally, I think they're neat, but I don't, I don't put a lot of value on like this kind of stuff. It's still neat though. Um, as far as a full package, but the little details, like, okay, there's a paper clip right here and it's like raised. And then on the back, it's like kind of like you could feel it still. That's, I mean, the little details are definitely pretty cool. So there's, there's all that that comes in the, uh, confidential folder. And then the actual game, oh, the game's sealed. It's not just like, oh man, like I just like, like if, the, if you just got the standard edition, this packaging right here is pretty dope too. You know, Super Nintendo sized box. Got the foiling. On, you know how I'm, I get a hard on for the foiling. North America version. There we go. Published by Retrobit. That is freaking nice, man. These guys have been doing a, a, a great job with the, these retro releases. Putting out special stuff, you know. Things that weren't originally available. New translations. All that kind of stuff. Like, I really want to leave the plastic on there, but... You know, I already kind of didn't precisionly cut it to open the side, but screw it. Here we go. Undercover cops. And then there I go bending the uh, flap. <laughs> oh my God, I'm cringing. He, he bent the flap. <laughs> okay. Oh my God, that, the booklet is nice and thick. Here's the little poster. One-sided one or two-sided? I don't remember. It's two-sided. I didn't remember. I remember looking at all the press release stuff, but it's been a little while. So there's that cool little poster. It's on the other side. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Japanese styling stuff. Cool. And then we get this fat-ass manual. Is it in multiple languages? Yeah, it's in English and Japanese. Oh, the, they have the actual, like, style of the console there. Everything that you need to know. The moves. The food. Like, you can grab a, just straight up grab live food. Eat a, a pig that you find running around. You just eat them. A mouse, same thing. Mm, yoinks. Man, I don't know. I mean, if you're desperate, but if you're an undercover cop, I, I, I would imagine, you know, you got money to buy some food. Like, I would rather have this stuff. Why would I want to eat the live animals? Like, they're not cooking them, they just eat them. Freaking nuts. Oh, it goes over all the stages. And then the manual in Japanese. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Just two languages. But I think I like that it's in English and Japanese. I like looking at Japanese manuals. Uh, I do have a few Japanese games, and it's kind of kind of cool. Little tray that it comes in. Then here's the cartridge. I forget what this was, mutant orange or like radioactive orange. Or, I, I don't freaking know, but there it is. Nice label. The shell feels nice and like, it's got like a heft to it. Doesn't feel like one of those cheap ass shells that are like really thin and are gonna crack. 
like you know it doesn't have like oh the tabs where we, we didn't actually screw it together like we just cl clamped it together nice shell nice shell you can see the board in there retro bit published by don't use any like benzene in this okay so that's the full set let's go ahead and boot this up real quick i've never played this with a um arcade stick on the super nintendo but here we go Gentlemen, our city is experiencing a crime wave of unprecedented magnitude. Well, sweet. Let's get into it. Now, I like using this arcade stick for, like, some Super Nintendo games. Like I said, I've never used it for this particular game. But put it in Switch mode, uh, D-pad, Bluetooth with the retro receiver, and then all the buttons are laid out to Super Nintendo style. There we go. Cool game to add to your collection. I mean, I, I'm digging what RetroBit's been doing. Can't wait for that uh, Mega Man to come out for the uh, Genesis. And then all the stuff they've been working on, that Alwa's uh, Awakening coming out for the NES and how they're testing out a digital version release with a little USB drive. I think it's pretty cool, man. I, I, you know, I got some, some, some respect for what these guys are doing, man. I know some people are like, oh my God, like $50, $60 too expensive. But I, I think like, you know, with the licenses and all that kind of stuff and the, you know, what they do behind these games and the people they work with, I mean, people's got to get paid. I think, uh, Price-wise, it's pretty reasonable. You can think otherwise, and that's that's fine. But I, I think these guys have been doing some cool stuff. You know me, love some some retro games. If I can drop this, I can eat that mouse. Mmm, delicious. Ugh. Bitch. So there you go. I don't want to spoil too much of this game. It's a pretty cool game. A um, lot of fun. I've beaten it a few times, but that's it. Just wanted to showcase this collector's edition unboxing, a little bit of the gameplay. Appreciate you guys. Give you a big-ass blurry thumb butt like a Bigfoot. I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you. Bye.